More than 20 new officers are hitting the streets of Toledo after completing months of training. The 67th police graduation was held today and in this class, 23 new officers and an arson investigator who will also have police powers. These officers have gone through months of training involving academics, fitness, driving, driving and weapons instruction. And each ceremony brings with it a lot of emotions for the cadets, for their families and for the men and women already in blue. Roxanne Elias was there. Scott Thompson is a father who has high hopes for his son. Scott Thompson. That son is graduating in the 67th Toledo Police Academy. I'm proud and scared at the same time, you know, for, for him and his family. But it's what he wanted, so, so I'm really proud of him, and I hope he can make a difference. These cadets have been through seven months of hard training and soul searching, making sure they can handle the job. They definitely know what's going on in this country. Uh, we, we've had the protests, we've had the riots, we have heard the ridiculous defunding the police rhetoric, and we, we try to incorporate that in our scenarios so that they're not sticker shocked when they hit the street. Chief George Cross says the department is also working with Jawan Armour in the initiative to reduce gun violence in the city. And the newly sworn officers say they're ready for the next test. It's going to be challenging for a lot of people because most people haven't really been in the career where there's such high stress and there's such a variation in how you may have to react to situations. And uh, that's going to come with time. They're coming in to policing in a very divisive time. They're going to have to use a lot more of their intelligence, a lot more of their thought process to try to tackle some of these incidents that are ha happening to them. They're going to have to have an authoritative stance, but they're still going to have to come at people with a lot more empathy than it used to be. For Thompson, his hope is his son can create change, but still come home safe every night. Maybe some of these younger black uh, kids can look up to him, you know, some of the kids that uh, he knows from the neighborhood, and, you know, may look up to him and and go, you know, in the right direction because it's, it's a lot of them going in the wrong direction. In Toledo, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11. A proud dad there. The learning isn't done for these new officers. Even after the academy, they still go through two weeks of scenario-based training, including responding to protests, domestic violence, and active shooter situations.